Hispasonic. Hey guys, Ryan Burke here at Rode Microphones at Music Mesa 2018. And at this show, we're actually showing the new Soundfield by Rode NTSF1 Ambisonic Microphone. Now, Ambisonic Audio Technology was pioneered by Soundfield back in the 70s. It's a company that we actually still own and operate today as uh, Rode Microphones and the Freeman Electronics Group. But this microphone here in front of me is actually the first collaboration between Soundfield and Rode Microphones. And it's an Ambisonic microphone with an A format output, which I'll explain in a moment. But basically, what Ambisonic Audio allows you to do is capture all of the information around the microphone uh, in 360 degrees with height, so it's the spherical information around the microphone, so that you can endlessly shape the audio in post-production. So if you want to have a, a stereo pair of cardioids, you can do that, super cardioids, figure eights. You can move them around, up, down, left, right. You can output a 5.1 signal from this one microphone, 7.1, as many channels as you like. But one of the really cool applications at the moment is for VR spatial audio. So when you've got a 360 degree camera array and you want to capture the audio where you can actually go up, down, left, right and keep the audio perspective with the viewer, that's what you can do with Ambisonic Audio. So this microphone here uses true condenser capsules. It's a capsule technology uh, at the highest level that enables us to have really nice flat frequency response incredible sensitivity but also very low noise which is really important in an Ambisonic microphone. That connects to a 10-pin Neutrik XLR that you can see here. It's a new connected by Neutrik. And basically, the setup is super simple. You plug it in like that, simple click connection, and then you've got your four balanced outputs. Now, you record the four balanced outputs into your audio recorder or audio interface with matched gain. And then you enable on the channels that you've recorded with that the new Soundfield by Rode plugin, which enables you to then do whatever you like with that audio, whether that's make a mono channel, stereo, 5.1, or even output B format so that you can do a binaural mix when you have it on your YouTube 360 video or anything like that for, for VR applications. Now, it ships with the suspension mount and the blimp style windshield, and altogether, it's 999 US dollars, so it's such an incredible price for such a low noise, true condenser ambisonic microphone. I'll show you the setup of the windshield really quickly. Now on the back here, you can see that we've got some markings here to help you uh, actually place that windshield in the perfect position. And something that's very important with an ambisonic microphone is making sure that the capsules are perfectly matched to one another in terms of sensitivity and also their polar response. Now these are all cardioid capsules, so you never want to have any hard surfaces too close to the capsules, otherwise it doesn't actually uh, operate as, as well as it possibly could in the, in the higher frequencies. So let me just open that windshield and I'll show you how to set that up. So the windshield simply screws apart and then you place it on the microphone like this and you line it up with that top line there and basically what that does is it centers the capsule array right in the middle of the windshield which means that you've got the perfect wind protection from all sides so it's not unbalanced at all but also any of the internal kind of reflections that you might get are balanced around the entire capsule array spherically so that's very important with an ambisonic microphone then you can see here that we've got two marks for your suspension mount so you place the suspension mount on the microphone like this line it up in the middle, and then what that does is it balances the suspension mount perfectly for not only vertical mode, you can also mount the microphone upside down depending on your orientation for recording, but you can also mount the microphone on end fire mode like this, and when you've got that microphone placed in the suspension mount with the cable, it's actually set up in a way that's perfectly balanced for the suspension to operate in the best possible way when you use the guidelines that we've got in place here on the microphone. So uh, it'll be shipping within the next few months. You can get more information at road.com. Uh, you can check us out on social media on Facebook or at Road Mics on Twitter. Uh, if you've got any questions, then feel free to hit up our team. Hispasonic.